Pratt and Wendy, 4060. Because we did an inspection. And we found discrepancy. And at the same time, Michael's over here doing an inspection of this other engine right here. Because it's 24 7. Seven days a week. We're doing an inspection here on this other engine right here on this side. Because like I said, I can't say it enough. Safety is number one. We're always on the clock inspecting these engines, making sure that you get your cargo on time, make sure that if it's a passenger airplane, we all have a good day, safe. Yeah. He's applying the liquid penetrant on the blades and we'll show you the details later on how it goes. So every time there's a nick, we do a little blend and then we do, we examine it with a NDI, non-destructive inspection, liquid penetrant. serviceable engine we found a discrepancy in because safety is number one and there is safety is priceless if in doubt it's out all right see she's beautiful and she's naked look at that so Hopefully, we can be here for the engine run. Yeah, it's like, look at the nose cow over there. No, it's not a picture frame. You think it's a picture frame, but it's not. They have it on a stand and against the wall to prevent the, um, the wind from moving it around or something like that. This nose cow is bigger than me. Check it out, yeah, I know. There's a little can up inside it. Today, Michael and I are not just in the field uh, doing inspections on airplanes. There's a lot of technicalities to be done in the office behind the scenes, behind the scenes and then fill out the reports and the pictures so that we can explain uh, why is it we're calling the engine serviceable or not. So, or check airplane. or the airplane serviceable or not. Uh, check this out. So we're in the computer here and we're setting up the bore, oh, shoot, the bore scope reports, you see? 
pretty neat. Engine is nice and sharp, no discrepancies, see? And this one, got a little bit discrepancies, some observations, but they're not really discrepancies, you see? How you see that one over there? Exactly. And that one over there, no discrepancies. So you got a little coding loss, you know, all service ball within limits. So right after this, Michael and I, we go out and catch a, a beautiful, beautiful pumpkin swordfish again. We're on a roll. So don't want to miss that at some good action. And back to the theme, guys. Um, Any day above ground is a great day. Exactly. Uh, I couldn't have said it better myself. So I got my son right here. If you guys don't know that yet, Michael, my name is Julio. Welcome to the Slippery Beast Aviation and Fishing Show. All right, see you guys out fishing, guys. Look at that. We got fish on, and it's my mom's birthday date on the registration appreciation date. Oh, wait until you see the swordfish. It looks like a nice one. Come on, I don't want to see leader again. That was the third. Dart is getting me out of control. Guys. What's going on, guys? We're hooked, up. We're hooked up to the gladiator to see right now. Swordfish. It's uh, 8 o'clock in the morning. Yeah. Let's see what happens. I got my way down. Come on, mate. That beautiful swordfish. What's up, guys? Look at that beautiful swordfish. You got a beautiful swordfish. Boom, right there. First drop, first drop and, and done. Are we done? No. Hell no, we're not done. Stomach, yeah, by the stomach. Yeah, try that. Let me see what happens. There you go. There you go. There you go. She's still oh, yeah. Oh, Mike. Oh, Mike. Go, Mike. Oh, yeah. She's spicy. Boom. Nice job, Mike. What do you say? How many pounds? I got colors on that. Maybe like 90? Michael's 90 is my uh, 75.613. And a three thirteen centimeters. Nice. So, Mike, give me a fist bump. Boom. Boom. <laughs> How we do it? That's why we come out here all the time, guys. Guys, look at the time right here. Eight oh five in the morning. Some of you guys already just getting up to get getting the coffee on. Put the coffee on the timer. You know. Oh, here you go. <laughs> oh, nice color. Now she's changing to a gold and purple. Huh? Guys. So Michael's all happy today because why Mike? Why are you so happy today? Already? By 8 a.m. we landed ourselves a swordfish. It's already in the boat. Nice shot. Uninvited guest. And guess what Michael's eating for his breakfast this morning? Look at that guys. Swordfish. Pum pumpkin swordfish. You know? That's not tomato sauce, that's hot sauce. That's hot sauce. You gotta put a little flavor, you know. So there you go, guys. So you have it. You see? So it's that time of day. Exactly. For the guava and cheese. With the slit, guys. You see the slit? I'm going to show you why, why we have a slit on the guava and cheese pastelito. Looking at it. Anyways, we got a swordfish on the boat already. And that's who did the slit. That was the sign on the wall that we were going to catch a swordfish today. Michael says it's about 85.6. I say it's 67.5. All right? Anyways, and my... And my um, Cafe con leche. And you guys are like family to us. So you guys are like our audience. Yeah, and then for some reason, like you guys like the method to our madness. But that's not the theme of the day today. Well, anyways, guys, welcome to the show. Welcome to the channel. S Slippery Beast Aviation and Fishing Show. So this brings me to the theme Let's just go dive right into it. Theme of the day is 
any day above ground is a great day. Self-explanatory. Yeah, exactly. As long as you're not dead, there's a, there's a still a, a, <laughs> a possibility and an opportunity uh, to go on with life. You see, I got this shirt on. It says Costa Rica. And their logo and their, their theme is always Pura Vida, which is pure life. Exactly. So, here you go. Maybe this will be my thumbnail. Maybe it won't. Let me see. Pure, see? Pure life. That's what these guys always talk about. When you, hey, how you doing? Pura Vida, Pura Vida, pure life, pure life. Because they're thinking, they're thinking positive. So if you put positive things in your conscious mind, there's no other results than to be positive results coming out, you see? So anyways, guys, um, it's gonna be good, to, this is a good day today. I'm glad you guys enjoyed the aviation part of this video. And watch us um, do some uh, cleaning and of course fish fry. So if you if you stick to, uh, to the end, all right, that means that your crew, one crew, What's going on there, Mike? What are you doing? Boom! Oh! Nice. This looks like a mount. Looks like a mount right here with the wood and everything. The wood's got the wood. Yes, it's a baby, right? Alright, here we go. See, no, they got the. Sígame ahí un momentico con el video, ahí mismo nada más. Ok, me avisa. So, so people over here, they ask us, hey, you guys go fishing in the rain? Like, man, he says, yeah, you know why? Because the fish is already wet. See? You gotta be one with nature. You gotta be one with nature. And also, I like fishing in the rain because that way nobody can see me cry. <laughs> what you got, guys? Pumpkin swordfish. Yeah, I know. Looks looks like a shark. This is the proper way to clean a gladiator of the sea. Pumpkin swordfish, the reason they call it like that is because like 80% of his diet was a red shrimp. A red shrimp again. Alright. Black and swordfish catch of the day. Trying to keep it healthy here, guys. Salad and my favorite yuca con mojo, which is cassava with mojo sauce of garlic and Spanish virgin extra oil. All right. Glad you guys have been joining us today, hanging out with us today in the aviation part and in the fishing part of this video. All right, we're gonna have a little feast now, you guys. We would have invited you, but this was a last minute notice on a rainy, stormy day. All right, gotta go. See you in the next video. Peace. Hasta la vista. Peace. <laughs>